Hello everyone, Merry Christmas Eve, and are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Uh, today, I need to figure out what I'm going to be choosing for the Lucky Bag Summon that's coming on New Year's. So that's going to be today's video, as I try, as I'm going to look over the Lucky Bag Summons, and by the end of this, figure out which one of these I actually want to summon on. Um, and yeah, hopefully this helps you if you're looking for... Hey, am I gonna summon on this or not? And if you're not summoning, hey, maybe just nice to look at. Don't feel pressured into actually buying it. Though I will say again, if you don't know, the GSSR for Fago is uh, paid only. So you can only get this if you're paying St. Quartz. And I think the cheapest way to do it is to get... It requires exactly 15 Quartz. I think it requires buying... It's still a decent amount of money. So I'll, I'll just say, either way, it's not free. But that's gonna be today's video. Let's get into it. So the lucky back summon him. When can we uh, see it? Chances are it's gonna be here on the first, just like it always is every single year. This says New Year's campaign 2021. Ours hasn't begun starting its stuff yet. It's probably gonna start sometime after the Christmas event is over, which is in a couple more days or so after Christmas. So we should start seeing some kind of ramp up for it. But yeah, in the lucky bag summon, there will be nine pools to choose from. So, let's look at the pools real quick. We have red, the three night pool, which is number one. This one has a buki, which means, again, if you're pulling on this one specifically, your only chance of getting the SSR are the ones featured in it. So, remember that. All right, so the three knights for red, it's a buki, okita, uh, shiki, saber, saber, summer archer, I should say, ishtar, erish goggle, and valkyrie. And then the next one is uh, Nero for Red Three Knights 2. Is Bride Nero, uh, Benny Enma, uh, Musashi, Jean Summer, then we have Sei, we have Skahawk, and then Tamamo no Mei Lancer version. And then now we have Four Calvary Red for the, for the next one. That's got Little Da Vinci, we got Castoria in here, we have Ilya, we have uh, Murasaki Shikibu, we have Kama, we have Semiramis, we have Mysterious Heroine X, and we have Musashi Berserker. And the next GSSR, which is Red Calvary 2, it has um, Alter in it, Summer, Alter, Saber, no, Alter, Saber, Alter, Writer version. There you go. <laughs> Summer Writer Saber. <laughs> Why am I getting so screwed up on this? Simi Yang, aka Rance. Scotty. Nero again, but this time in her caster form. Leonardo da Vinci again, this time in her giant adult woman body. And then we have uh, Cleopatra coming at ya. We have Shuten, we have Raiko, and we have Mysterious Hero and Alter X. And then we have Red Extra 1. Which features Himiko, Space Ishtar, King Protea, Melt, BB, Summer BB specifically, Abigail, Summer Abby, and Abby, both Abbies, and Yang. And then we have Red Extra 2, which features Artoria Pendragon Ruler, aka Saber, Ruler, Summer, uh, Big, Form, Jean de Arc, Altar, Demon King Nobunaga. Okita Alter, and then we have Kiara, we have both versions of Kiara, summer and not summer versions, and then we have Van Gogh, and then we have Hokusai, and then we have White Three Knights, which features uh, Saber as a man, aka actual Arthur, uh, Astolfo in his Saber form, Sigurd, uh, Gilgamesh, Moriarty, uh, Super Orion, and Romulus Quernus, then we have White Four Calvary, which has Ivan the Terrible, Iskandar, Merlin, King Asan, uh, Arjuna Alter, Kintoki, and the Pickle Man, Hijikata himself. And then we have the final one, which is White Extra, which features uh, Amakasu. Uh, and then we have the Mothman Prophecies himself. I don't remember what his name is. Is a she? She? Let's go with the Mothman. And then we have Sherlock. <laughs> and then we have Dantes. We have the pervert, everyone's favorite pervert, Domen. And then we have the little boy, Voyager. And that's basically the GSSR ones you have to pick from. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Now, which one of these is obviously the one that most people are going to be pulling for? If you don't have Castoria, then four Calvary is kind of your bet here. Um, the only problem with it is, is that it does share. <laughs> if you do get Castor, 
you have a high chance of getting Ilya Spook or you have Shikibu Spook. Which, to be fair, I like Shikibu, so I wouldn't mind getting that. Uh, but these two are... The power disparity is large. So if you end up getting Caster, there's about a... What is it? 33 and a 33rd chance of getting Castoria at that point. So... Mm, something to keep in mind when you're pulling on it. But most people will be pulling for this one because there's a chance of getting a free Castoria. And your chances are 1 in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1 in 8 chance of getting Castoria, which isn't too bad. Another one to kind of look at um, in terms of dudes are in here is obviously White Extra, which is pretty crazy. There's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 dudes in here. So if you have any of these characters as ones that you like, you have a 1 in 6 chance of getting them, which is pretty good. Uh, also, the units in here are also all pretty neat. I like Dantes. He recently got a buff, which is nice. Sherlock is Sherlock. The Mothman, I have never seen much about Mothman, but uh, I know there's Mothman fans. Amakasu, I think, is actually very good at doing certain... Like, something he does. I forget if, it's, if he's good for Buster looping with what he does, or it's specifically that he's annoying to fight against because he removes all buffs. I can never remember which one it is. But either way, he is getting a new outfit and stuff like that, so if you're a big fan of Omakasu, this is definitely your best shot of getting him when you... If you do end up missing him, you end up getting a lot more hits out of it as well. That's something to also keep in mind, is to remember there's a hit-to-miss ratio that you have to always think about when you're going for a GSSR. Like, for this one, for example, if I wanted Arjuna Alter, how happy would I be if I got someone else here? So, I don't have Ivan, so I'd be okay with Ivan. I have a Skandar already, so I don't want another Skandar. Merlin I don't have, so that's okay. Uh, King Asan I don't have, so I'd be okay with him. Kentucky I don't have, I would be fine with him. And I already have an MP2 Pickleman, don't want another of him. So realistically, I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. 4 out of 7 chance of getting someone I actually legitimately like. Um... Which is something to kind of either legitimately like or could really use. And that's the kind of thing you have to also balance in the GSSR. It's not all about one unit specifically. Because obviously if you're just looking for the one unit specifically, I think every single one of these has that one unit that is so good that it makes it worth summoning for. Like obviously Doman over here. For this one, it's Arjuna Altar. Merlin is in here as well, which is uh, helpful as well. Super Orion for the three knights. Gilgamesh is a big fan favorite for a lot of people, so of course he's up in there as well. Red Extra 2 obviously has Summer Kiara, and then it also has Van Gogh and Hokusai and a bunch of others. Nobunaga, like Gene, people who people like, the Lion King. Uh, Red Extra 1, this obviously has Space Ishtar, that's your big one to go for. Um, for Calvary 2... Uh, it's Scotty. I was like, who the hell is it in here? It's Scotty. <laughs> it's a little bit hard looking at it because I was like, what? Who? who is the specific one here? And then the next one is uh, Castoria. And then for three nights, this one would probably most likely be... Uh, it's actually kind of a tie. None of these are specifically like super crazy busted in my mind, but they're all very solid and good. Like obviously Skahawk, Bride Nero, um, Summer Jean, which is a fantastic at... Um, looping tamamo summer who's good at single target sai they all very good so this one might actually be the one that it's the most balanced in terms of just good generic good <laughs> and then for the three knights the big one here is are obviously saber okita uh both rin faces and those are kind of the way they do it and then they balance it out by usually putting someone who's very bad on it so for three knights it's brunhilda for this one uh, and actually, I think... Eh, actually, I'll take that back and say it's actually Shiki Saber. I forgot Void Shiki's actually very bad at the moment, so I'll go with her. None that really come to mind in this one. If you want to point at someone who could potentially... Nah, actually, there's no, there's literally no one on this one. For Calvary, it's Mysterious Heroin X. Um, and it's probably also probably Ilya. <laughs> oh, I forgot Kama's also on here. That's also very good. It's another point for it here. Uh, for Calvary here, the big one that's probably bad is obviously Cleo. As much as I love her, um, she's the worst one on here. For Red Extra, it's Summer Abbey, who's just straight out the worst one on here. 
Uh, Red Extra Tooth is actually not... Actually, I think it's actually funny enough is Gene Alter, because Gene Alter has not received a buff in a very long time. So for the adage of age, she's much worse than all the other ones. I say that even though I think some people probably don't like this specific ruler, uh, summer ruler, uh, Saber, but I really like her for various reasons. And I think she's neat and she has fun animations. Gene Alter just needs a buff in every single regard anyway. It would also be kind of a bummer to get regular Kiara when summer Kiara is right there, but I digress on that. Arthur is obviously the big turd in the, the, the male white three nights. He's just very bad. <laughs> He's bad. There's nothing more to say. I want to say but Sigurd is also very bad, but I can't remember uh, how much worse if he is. I think on our side of the game, they're both kind of having a terrible off. For the four cavalry, it's the Pickle Man. He's not very good. Hijikata is not very good. And for White Extra, there's not actually anyone that comes out into my mind that is actively bad out of all of them. So I think for this one, after looking at it, I think the one I kind of want to go for most... I kind of want to try, I really want to try for Calvary because I really want Leonardo da Vinci. But the problem in here is that I have, there's a lot of dudes I want on here, like obviously Kid Vinci, and then we have uh, Shikibu. Those are the two ones I want. These other ones, Castoria, I don't want because I already have one. Ilya, I don't want because I already have one. Kama, I don't want because I already have one. Samiramas, I just don't want. Uh, Mysterious Heroin X, I think I already have one. I don't want another one. Musashi would be nice to have like a dupe of, but in general, I would like new units. So probably not that one. Damn, it might be for Calvary 2. I have Summer Saber Rider Altar here. I do, I, uh, no, this one's a bummer because I have Scotty already. And I really don't want NP2 Scotty, and I don't want NP2 Cleo. So this is kind of another troubling issue here for me, is I don't want this. I also don't want to summon on here, because I already have Summer Abbey. So I really don't want to get more NP for my Summer Abbey. And there's a lot more, like, misses on me for here. Like, I don't need another Gang. I don't need another BB. I don't need another Melt. I don't really need another Spa- Why am I summoning on this one? I don't need this one at all. This one, I think, is probably the one I would most likely summon. Ah, but I really don't want... I already have one copy of Okita Altar. I don't need more. And I would be kind of bummed out if I got another Kiara here. Damn, I actually don't know, looking at these, which one of these I should summon on. Maybe I should just summon on three knights and hope to get maybe Erish Goggle. I already have NP1. Oh, I can't summon on this one because I already have <laughs> Semur Archer at NP5. Ah, this is actually fucking tough. I don't know who the fuck to summon on. I have too many- I didn't even realize this until I looked at it, but I- I, I think I've been pulling too good. I don't know where the- where to put my stuff in. Uh, I don't want to- I really would be bummed out if I got Hijikata. So I can't summon for Hijikata. Um... This one, I don't. I already have Voyager and I have Dante, so the two ones I would want from here. I think I'm just gonna have to put Caution to the Wind and Summon on 4 Calvary 1. I, hmm, it's either gonna be between 1 or 2. Basically, the big ones from this one are uh, Da Vinci here, and Shikibu would be really nice, and I wouldn't mind a bonus to my Berserker. For 4, Cal four Calvary 2, Reigns I don't have, and I think I would really like Nero. I wouldn't mind Da Vinci here as well because it would be now to have open to her interlude, which would be nice. And obviously, Mama Reiko is the big one that I've always been trying to get and I've never been able to pull. But the rest of these I have and I don't want more copies of at the moment. So, hmm. I think it actually, you know what? Maybe it's Three Nights 2. I think this is the one because this one is. I have already Nero Claudius, the Bride Nero, at NP2. I wouldn't mind NP3. Skahawk, I think I have at NP2, so I could potentially get to 3. Say could maybe use another NP level, and here I could get Musashi, I could get Benny Enma, who I don't have, Benny, who I don't have, Tamamo Lancer, or I could get Gene Archer. So that's what I'm going for. Okay, I've locked it in, everyone. I'm doing Red 3 Nights 2, and that's my final answer. So that's who I'm going to end up summoning on. I've worked it out. Hopefully... If you figured out who you want to summon on the GSSR, feel free to tell me. Um, 
GSSR is a really weird gambit. I think the less units you have, the better it is for you. I think this one's a little bit funky. I feel like it's not as good as previous ones, but maybe it's uh, maybe I'm biased because I have too many of them. <laughs> maybe it's I'm always gonna have a bias because as long as I have an MP5 of this specific summer Artoria, I can never summon on any banner that features her. So that's a definite me problem that nobody else can really have at the moment. Um, I think this year's GSSR might be better. Let me look at what we could expect for anniversary, just to see. Because I remember there's one that's just crazy insane. Maybe this is not the one I was thinking of. Mm, let me see. Yeah, as you can see here, this is the one I was thinking that was crazy, where it's like one in four chances for some dudes, one in three chance for one of these dudes. Yeah, okay. Alright, this is the GSR. I have to plan a little bit more for it. Wow, really? Those are one in three chance. This one was fucking insane! <laughs> I forgot! A one in three chance of Morgan, Arjuna, Ultra, or Musashi Summer? <laughs> yeah, that's uh. Damn, that one's much farther away though. This is seventh anniversary. I'm looking at the wrong one. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, I was about to say, that sounds insane. There's no way in hell they're going to do that. That's a, it's a good for the back pocket. I have to go here. I was like, what the hell? Her releasing so soon, are they going to do that? No. Nah. nah, I was looking at the wrong one the entire time. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. I can look here. I can do a little clicks, and then I can look. I think this one ends up being pretty good, too, though. Mm. Yeah, that one's pretty good. One in four chance of someone good. That one's cool. Mm. This is all a future problem for future Wookiee. This is actually still pretty nice. A one in five chance for one of these. I might just end up not summoning very much for these three. And just let... Just so I can potentially summon on this GSSR down the road. But anyway... That's it for this video. Very Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Merry Christmas Eve. Until next time we talk, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.